Okay, so you want to import a character into Unreal to use the Unreal Engine mannequin animations. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step breakdown of how we get this done. Let's get started. Right, so the first thing you need to do is ensure your rig is set up properly so it can use the animations. This means that you need a rig that has the same bone hierarchy as the Unreal Engine mannequin. This sounds quite confusing, but it's fairly simple. Just make sure your rig has these bones and they're attached together the same way the ones on screen are. It's particularly important that you don't forget about the root bone. You can have more bones and you can have less bones, as long as they don't change the hierarchy. The less your skeleton resembles a human skeleton in terms of bone positioning, the more disfigured the animation will be. So when you've got a skeleton with the same hierarchy as this, we can then import our character into Unreal. Although you may have seen tutorials telling you to import the model and then select the same skeleton as the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin, it can't be done this way. When you make a rig on popular 3D softwares like Blender or Maya, the bone orientations are different to that of Unreal Engine 4, meaning we need to retarget the animation. So, import your mesh into Unreal, make sure you're not selecting a skeleton, and tick Update Skeleton Ref and use Ref Pose. These settings will put your character into a T pose, which makes the next few steps easier. Open both the mannequin skeleton and your newly imported skeleton. On the mannequin, click on the Retarget Manager tab. Then under Rig, select Humanoid Rig. Save this. Back on your skeletal rig, do the same. Retarget Manager, Humanoid Rig. For each bone, select your matching bone for your rig. If your bone has the same name as the mannequin rig already, it will be filled out for you. What we're doing is matching up our new character's bones with the mannequins. So although they're two different skeletons, the program knows how to use our new character with the mannequin animations. Now look at the pose of your character. Then go onto the mannequin skeleton and click view pose. Move the mannequin into a similar pose to your character's pose by rotating his bones. Mine was in a T-shape, so I'm moving the mannequin into a T-shape. When you're finished, click Modify Pose, Use Current Pose. You'll know it's worked when you click View and Hide Pose. It will flick between the pose we just made and the default pose. Back in the content browser, right-click one of your mannequin animations and click Retarget Anim Asset. You should be able to click your skeletal mesh on the left now. Once selected, you'd usually be able to see your character on the right. However, Unreal has a bug where you can't see your character for the first retarget you do, so just click Retarget. Now we've gotten the bug out of the way, instead of clicking on animation, right click on the mannequin's blend space and click Retarget Anim Asset. Select your character again and now you should be able to see him on the right side. If you can't see him, it might just be because your character is really small. This isn't much of an issue though because you can just scale him up. Okay, so now we have all the mannequin animations remade for our character and a blend space combining them. We're not quite done however. Open up your character's skeleton again and now we're going to tweak a few retargeting settings so the animations play better. So click on the skeleton tree, show retargeting options, then next to your top bone, click recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. Then change your root and pelvis to animation. And now we're done. Open up your third person character blueprint, under mesh select your new character mesh, and then under animation select your newly created blend space. You might need to scale your character up or move him upwards if his feet are in the ground. Anyway that is it for this video, I hope you managed to follow along and I hope your character is working for you. If you have any questions I'd be happy to answer them in the comment section and if you enjoyed the video it would be so awesome if you could thumbs up the video, drop a sub if you're interested in learning Unreal Engine like videos like this. Anyway thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.